Hi everyone, I hope you are all well. I am so excited because the time has finally come for me to introduce a series I will be doing called Mondays with Margaret. This series will start on November 9th, 2020 and go until November 1st, 2021. In today's video, I'm going to be going through the first 12 Margaret Atwood books I will be reading. So if you want to follow along, you will know what to expect. As some of you already know, my name is Jolene from Bookworm Adventure Girl. Welcome to my channel for those who are new and welcome back for those returning. You might be wondering, what is Mondays with Margaret? Well, I have decided to read as much of Margaret Atwood's publications as I can in one year. And I would like to do that with all of you. Margaret Atwood is one of the most, if not the most respected Canadian writer. And I have only read three of her novels and a few of her poems. I think we could have some good conversation with her literature. If you go to Margaret Atwood's website, which I will put in the description below, along with other links to books, you will see that she lists her books according to novels, short fiction, children's books, graphic novels, poetry, nonfiction, small press editions of poetry, fiction, television scripts, radio scripts, recordings, edited, and theater. This might seem overwhelming, but don't worry. We have an entire year and I'm here to help you make this process easier. Stick around until the end because I will also give you tips and helpful information so that you don't have to look for every single book if you are purchasing or wanting to read along. And you also don't want to accidentally get the same book because it has a different title. And yes, that is possible. As I said, we are starting Mondays with Margaret on November the 9th, 2020. And the series will go until November 1st, 2021. Why wait until November? And why am I telling you some of the books now? So there's a few reasons. There is a lot going on in November. On November 18th, Margaret Atwood will be 81 years old. I hope she doesn't mind me telling her age, but really I don't think I'm giving anything away because a simple Google search will tell you the same information. And on November 10th, Margaret Atwood's collection of poetry called Dearly will be published. We will be waiting until November 1st of 2021 to talk about it together because we will mostly be reading Margaret Atwood's books in the order it was originally published. There are a few exceptions to this rule, but I will always post a schedule so you will know well in advance what's coming up in the following weeks. The reason I am telling you so far ahead of time is so you can prepare if you need to purchase books, put them on hold, wait for shipping, and some of these books are a little more difficult to find. As promised, I will give some tips at the end of the video to help you out. If we were able to start at the very beginning, we would be starting with Double Persephone. This collection of poetry includes seven poems and was the first publication by Margaret Atwood. It was published in 1961 and Atwood hand set the book herself using a flatbed press and designed the cover using lino blocks. She published 220 copies. I'm not sure how many copies still exist, but if we were able to get our hands on one, it would be worth a lot of money. Our reading starts with three collections of poetry. The first one on November 9th will be The Circle Game, which was published in 1964. Hopefully we can have a good conversation about this one. The second publication is Speeches for Dr. Frankenstein. Only 15 copies, yes, one five, only 15 copies of this 10 part poem was published. And here's one tip. This poem is included in the next poetry collection. So you don't have to get this publication, but I think it's an important one to include on its own because it has such a great story and how it was published is quite incredible. You can get an e-copy of this book from House of Anansi for about $10 Canadian. It was illustrated and published by Margaret Atwood's longtime friend, Charles Patchter. The whole process is fascinating and the e-book has embedded videos and audio too. Margaret and Charles' friendship is important and he will come up again. 
Third, on November 23rd, we will be talking about the third collection of poetry, which is The Animals in That Country, published in 1968. On November 30th, we will be talking about Margaret Atwood's first novel, The Edible Woman, which was published in 1969. We start December with another collection of poetry on December the 7th, and that's The Journals of Susanna Moody. I have the illustrated edition, so we will be talking about Charles Patchter again. On December 14th is the poetry collection Procedures for Underground. It was published in 1970. Power Politics is up for December 21st, another collection of poetry, this one published in 1971. On December 28th, we end the year with Margaret Atwood's second novel, Surfacing, published in 1972. We will be starting the year off on January 4th with the first nonfiction book we will be reading, Survival, A Thematic Guide to Canadian Literature. This also published in 1972. On January 11th, we go back to poetry, You Are Happy, published in 1974. Lady Oracle is our third novel on January 18th and Lady Oracle was originally published in 1976. And the 12th publication on January 25th will be Short Fiction, published in 1977, Dancing Girls. If you look at the list on Margaret Atwood's website, you notice that we should be reading a publication called Selected Poems One. But in fact, we will have read all of the poems in that book by this time. This brings me to the information and tips I promised you. Mondays with Margaret will include all 17 of Atwood's novels throughout the year, all 14 poetry collections, and four out of the seven small press edition poetry. There will be more, but this will be the bulk of our reading. It will not include her television scripts, her radio scripts, the recordings, publications she has edited, or the theater play. Finding all of these books from stores Online, the library can be overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. If you don't want to buy all of those poetry collections, or they are hard to find in store or in a library, there is another way to make it work. Option one is that for this section of our schedule, you could get Selected Poems 1, which includes poems from 1965 to 1975. It includes selected poems from all of the collections that we will be reading. It does mean that I might talk about a poem that was not included in the selections here, but it would still give you a good sense and you could still be part of the conversation. There is a selected poems too, which is poems from 1976 to 1986. We will be using that because it includes new poems and some selected poems from collections that I couldn't find, but it is not necessary to get both. And I will talk about that more. Option two. If you are okay with used books, you could check out new and used booksellers. I actually got a number of my books for this series that way, and they were much cheaper. Option three is if you don't want to get selected poems one and two, and you don't want to try used bookstores or try the library, you can also get Eating Fire. This book includes all of selected poems one, all of Selected Poems 2, it includes the entirety of the Journals of Susanna Moody and the entirety of Morning in the Burning House. So this has pretty much everything that we will be doing with poetry with a few exceptions, but it's only one book. So it might save some time and some worry about having to figure out how you're going to get all of those. So this is a good one. And another tip that I have is that Margaret Atwood's Poems 1976 to 1986 is exactly the same as Selected Poems 2. It has the exact same poems inside, it has the exact same information, so you don't need both copies. If you see this, and this is a cheaper version, or this is what your library has, then go with this one. It's the same thing. Finally, the last tip is that House of Anansi is not only a great publisher, but they have been publishing Margaret Atwood books from the, from the 1960s. They have what's called the A-list, of course, Margaret Atwood is on it. Not only can you purchase an e-publication of speeches for Dr. Frankenstein, uh, which is what I mentioned earlier, but they also have a bundle that includes five of Margaret Atwood's books that we will be reading. The bundle is $55 Canadian. That helps to save a bit of money too if you are wanting to purchase. I'm excited to be discussing Margaret Atwood's literature with all of you. Have a look in the description for links 
to Margaret Atwood's website, House of a Nancy Press, to new and used bookstores that I have used, as well as other bookstores that you can find Margaret Atwood's books. If you are interested in following along with Mondays with Margaret, please hit subscribe and stick around. Who knows, maybe we can get Margaret Atwood to join us at some point. That would be very exciting, but I make no promises. Margaret, if you're listening and watching, you have a blanket invitation to join us whenever you wish. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I look forward to chatting with you there. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day and don't forget to make every day an adventure.